Police brutality exists across the Caribbean. That's according to the U.S. State Department. U.S. officials last week released their annual Human Rights Watch report that said excessive use of force by police officers continues in several Caribbean nations. In Jamaica, Haiti and Guyana, the security forces were blamed for unlawful killings. Nationals of the Dominican Republic and Jamaica sent home some five billion U.S. dollars last year. That's according to the Inter-American Development Bank. Latest numbers released show the Dominican Republic again topped remittances to the Caribbean, receiving a whopping 3.1 billion U.S. dollars last year. Jamaicans sent back 1.9 billion, while Haitians sent home 1.8 billion. Guyana received $424 million, while Trinidad and Tobago was listed at 125. Suriname's remittance number was put at $115 million. New York State, home to more than a million Caribbean New Yorkers, will soon have a governor with roots in the region. Legally blind Lieutenant Governor David Patterson will make history on March 17th by becoming not just the first black governor of the Empire State, but the first with Caribbean roots. He becomes governor of New York following the resignation of Governor Elliot Spitzer over links to her prostitution ring. Jamaican reggae artist Coco T is singing Barack Obama's praises. The legendary singer joins Grenada-born, Trinidad-raised, and U.S.-based Calypso star Sparrow in a musical endorsement. He is slated to release the single on Obama this week on the VP record label. In our sports news, Chris Brown of the Bahamas has taken the bronze in the 12th IAAF Indoor World Championships in Spain. Brown 29 won the bronze medal in a time of 46.26 in the men's 400 meters. He beat back Neri Breens of Costa Rica, Russian Maxim Dillon, and Sean Rowe of Australia, who finished 4th to 6th, respectively. For more Caribbean news, log on to caribworldnews.com for your daily update.